All right, guys, we are back once again. You know the vibes. This is the High Level Podcast with your hosts, Kyle and Reina. Once again, we are welcome, welcome, welcoming, welcoming <laughs> on some guests. Uh, one you guys have already met. One is actually his wife. Fantastic person. Was so happy to have her on. So let's please give a warm welcome to Vinny P and Kelly P. Hey, what up? Thank you. Gang, thank you guys for coming. <laughs> Vinny, thank you for coming back. Kelly, thank you for joining us for the first time. Today, we want to run back nostalgia. We feel like we missed a bunch of things on the, what was that, the second episode we did nostalgia? Yeah. We are now on episode six. Um, super dope. We've been in the game for six weeks, been killing it. Everything's high level here. You guys should already know how we get down over here by now. We give a little update on some things, whether that be music, sports, so on and so forth. You guys already know I'm going to kick this off with. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. The, Let's start it up. <laughs> the tea is hot right now. Too hot. We have the rap game going crazy. Everybody knows what's going on right now. It's like 20v1. Drake versus the whole game, a.k.a. Kendrick Lamar right now. <laughs> This man just keeps dropping the this track. Man. This, Dude, you can't get rid I of this guy. I love it. I love it. You can't I get stand. rid of this guy. I stand. I love it. So I was saying last time I was on, I was like, "Dude, Kendrick needs to do something," and he just hasn't stopped since. He Vinny, you manifested. Yeah. <laughs> it. He I'll hasn't stopped. But the crazy thing is, is like everyone keeps thinking Drake's about to take an L. I thought Drake was about to take an L. Then boom, man, put, just puts out a diss track overnight and just completely cooks Kendrick. Gets deep into the yep. shit where he's basically like, I had a, you have a rat in your squad because guess what? I just had that rat feed you all this false information and everything you just put in that last song is cat. That's what Kel was saying on the way here. Yeah. yeah. So I was wondering if you guys actually believe that or not. So I don't know. I think he's got the juice to do something like that. I mean, I, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like it was a setup of a setup. Like he's like, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna go with that narrative. Like the internet started spinning it for me. I'm I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run with it's it. It's a good way to flip the script. I think all the be. I think it's all still valid. What Kendrick said. He's working on information that he thought was real. So like, dude, you want to call yourself a deadbeat dad and not actually be a deadbeat dad? Well, guess what? You signed up to be called one. You know, mm, you called yourself fair. it. So like, I don't, like, you know, make something up about yourself and then give someone shit for making fun of what you said yourself because it's not true and it was still act like, like he was what? shocked in an instagram story like what daughter do i have like if you weren't if you knew you fed the information you wouldn't have made that instagram post he's the petty king though like he's he's starting to get on like 50 cent level of pettiness yeah. now no, at this point. Like petty. <laughs> no, this doing a play by play yeah. of pity <laughs> but no so that's like i honestly i haven't paid as close attention as I normally do or should, but it's just like overwhelming it's to keep lot. up with. I mean, it's like between Instagram posts, between Rick Ross just will not stop trolling with the white boy shit. It's driving me crazy. Like, bruh, you were the biggest rat of them all. You ex corrections officer having <laughs> ass. Like, motherfuckers paying you off in the celly just to get a phone call. Like, and Drake whacked him with that line. Like, Ross read me my Miranda rights. <laughs> yeah. Got That's him. crazy. Well, we, st- we stopped in the middle of the Tom Brady Rose pause. It's like, oh, to listen to it? Yeah. My my youngest son's mother texted me and was like, Drake snapped. Oh, my God. I'm like, send me the link now. Is it like... Paused it. Did he go hard? Or is it like typical Drake no, like, pop hard. song with some... He goes hard. Disses. Pause. I wasn't like... Oh, this is a bop. Like, you know how, like, not, not like us, bop. like, it's it has, like, a nice, Dude, when like, Kendrick puts, you can listen to that in the club. This song. You can't. That's mm-hmm. just a diss. Well, and when yeah. Kendrick put out 616, you could, like, feel what he was saying. He took that, that down. You know what I mean? Did he really? Yeah. It's off YouTube now. He took it really? down. You could, you could feel the hate from that's him, That's what I'm though. saying. Like, that was dope. Yeah. <laughs> like I said to Kyle, it's like, you can tell he's going in the booth, like, you know how, like, when you're, like, talking about, like, a, like a back and forth that you had some with someone and you're just like getting yourself more and more hyped up and more angry. Yeah, that's like, Kendrick. That's how Kendrick yeah. sounds. Kendrick hasn't slept Like he's just getting weeks, more and more right. mad. And yeah. like, and another thing. And yeah. another thing. <laughs> By the way. Yeah. I saw a tweet and it was like, it's so nice watching adult grown men write poetry about each other. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Yes. The best meme I've seen of this whole thing is literally... It just says Kendrick Lamar, and then underneath it is a picture of like SpongeBob's like legs and feet, and it's a pair of black oh Air Forces on SpongeBob's yes. feet. That's like hilarious. I'm gonna send, we gotta throw we'll throw that up in the yeah, video yeah. because it's it's so funny. It had me dying. Um, but with all this being said too, like 
I'm not sitting here saying that I dislike or hate Kendrick because mm. I don't. Kendrick has some. Uh, so I would. I personally don't think he has, he has a classic album. He might have one classic album, in my opinion, but he does have a lot of good music. Like I'm not anti Kendrick. I'm just Team Drizzy. So mm-hmm. for everybody out here that watches and listens. Yeah, I am OVO, but I fuck with K Dot. So everyone who's hopping on my Facebook and my socials, trying to, dick they're trying riding to tear me, him down. Trying that's tear why me they're down. trying to break him. They're trying to, but it ain't gonna but happen. But he's, he's Team OVO. Until what I will say is, life. Kendrick might win the battle, but Drake absolutely wins the war. Like the bottom line he's, is, he's, this. he's still gonna stay on top after this. Like he's still he's unscathed. The bottom line is that. Kendrick is one of the best MCs probably ever to touch a mic. I don't think anybody can deny or argue that. He's top five, me, yeah. you know, yeah. top ten. debatably. Absolutely. Definitely, top, definitely, ten. Top, definitely ten. top ten. But he doesn't make music that appeals to the masses. Drake does. Drake I've, can give you club vibes. He can give you lovey-dovey vibes, R&B. Obviously, he can give you uh, music rap Music to bass. pacify you? Well, <laughs> you know... <laughs> Why are you coming for me on the Bro, pod I'm right just now, saying, guy? Hey, it's, I'm not coming on. to you. I'm just repeating what he, I heard. He's just saying. He's <laughs> but, just saying. You know, I think that's part of the reason why he's so hated is because he does things that all these rappers want to do. Like, let's face it, Kendrick Lamar might have... I mean, and I'm just spitballing here, so nobody tuning in hold me to this. He might have, like, five radio songs. Almost every song Drake puts yeah. out is a radio song. Yeah. yeah. So, um... So that's that's all I really have on this news front of rap beefs and stuff right now because I know there's going to be so much more to unfold, so I'm not going to waste a million minutes on here um, telling everybody things that they already know because I don't know about you guys, but you can't Time get on, on social media. I was on Reddit looking for threads on the pod, and that shit was coming up. No shit. Like, mm-hmm. I can't mm-hmm. escape it. So I love it, but it is pissing me off. So y'all either need to shoot each other in the fucking face or just make up because I'm tired of this. Um, but another thing I want to touch on before we open up with the nostalgia and stuff, just cause I feel like I haven't personally thrown this into the pot enough and it's something I want to be a part of this. And that's obviously sports. Mm. I'm the biggest sports fan ever. I love all my Boston teams. I'm just so going to stand here and smile and nod. I, yeah. So sidebar, <laughs> and I've, I think I've told you guys this already, but I'm going to tell this for the pod. We were watching basketball one day oh and like, gosh. and Steve Nash comes up on the screen and Raina goes, is that Larry Bird? <laughs> I could have died. I could have died when I heard that. I was tearing. At least oh I know a God. player, right? It's a name. So no, <laughs> it, it isn't Larry Bird. <laughs> but um, I just want to give a quick shout to, to our teams right now. We, we have Boston Bruins moving on second round. They play tonight. Um, the Panthers. Florida Panthers, I believe, I think is so. who they got. Yeah, yeah, they got the Panthers next. So they squeaked by with Montreal by the fucking hair on their playoff beards because mm-hmm. I had no faith. I can't lie. I had no faith in the boys to make it to the second round. They made it. So shout out to the Boston Bruins. Shout out Pasta for that nasty goal. That, that nasty. backhand. Wow. That, yeah. Put them to bed in overtime. Yep. So I love to see that. Shout out Boston Celtics. Yep. On to the second round. round. Yep. Cleveland Cavaliers, they only have one relevant player, Donovan Mitchell. I feel really good about this. We should breeze our way right to the Eastern Conference Finals. We need Porzingis to get healthy, though. He's hurt. Shout out Porzingis. I was not a fan of of him coming to the team. I thought he was too accident prone. I didn't really want to get rid of Marcus Smart. Um, but it was a great move. So fucking Brad Stevens, you're a goat. I fucking love you for everything you've done for this team since you became the president. So shout out the Celtics. Red Sox, you guys fucking suck. And let's see what the fucking Patriots do. So there's my sports takes for the day. If anybody wants to chime in on there, feel free. If not, we're going to keep it pushing. Anybody? No, Should I mean, we talk it, about the roast then? We, I, we could touch on the roast. Yeah, we could. Sports, yeah. the greatest of all time. I love Kevin Hart. He had so me fun. dying. He so did funny. so well. Two minutes so in. So well. Ripping Tom so Brady funny. straight for the neck. Giselle jokes. They man. didn't hold back. That was like, we were talking about that with my brother last night. People needed that roast. Yeah, mm-hmm. they had like, a lot to get off. Like their society chest. needed that yeah. roast. It was there just was... so raw and authentic, you know. Yes, because it, it was live, they couldn't they, yeah, really do no, much. Yeah, you can't edit yeah. bullshit out. And yeah. Bronk was on a roll. Bronk he was, was on a him. roll. Yeah. I don't even know if he knew where, like, what he was doing or where he was. <laughs> no. Honestly, like, he was just happy no to be idea. there. Yeah, just and, vibing. Yeah. And the shots with him next to Kevin Hart were just like honestly amazing. Because he's so much bigger than him. Yes, like. 
it just made everything that they were saying about Kevin Hart that much funnier because of like the dynamic. The size there. difference. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the thing I loved about the fact that Tom Brady even had the balls to do it was yeah. because for every single person who fucking admires him also hates him oh, yeah. for mm-hmm. what they took away from their cities and football yeah. teams yeah. for what twenty three years, yeah. like. We don't feel that because he was on our team for 20 right. fucking years. Right. So. True. But it was Feels nice great. to see him. Yeah, you know the vibes. Come on, the GOAT. We got to witness the GOAT. You want to talk about nostalgia and, and growing yeah. up? Yeah. Yeah. Tom Brady is nostalgia at this point. Facts. Like, he may be still be relevant and whatnot, but who's going to do what he did? It is pretty cool that like, people that grew up... Um, with like Michael Jordan during the Chicago Bulls run and like people that grew up with Kobe in the LA run like our area has and our generation has like a timeless player. Yeah. It's pretty cool. You yeah. know what I mean? Like not every city sees that and uh he is the goat. It's He's the goat nasty. undeniably. Yeah. Undeniably. Like, they, yeah. like there's one person I think that could probably catch him and it's Mahomes. I yep. hate to say yeah, it, but probably. I think he might be the only one that can actually catch him mm-hmm. with time. I mean in our lifetime, we may not see another Tom Brady, like, stat-wise, but we will see somebody win seven Super Bowls. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. I think the direction that the league and how soft the league's getting, in general, will give players a little bit more longevity in the league and time to actually accomplish that. But How much uh, how much sincerity do you guys think there was when they were talking about deflate gate and cheating? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Ah. Mm-hmm. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Can I plead the fifth? <laughs> I don't need to. I don't want to expose myself, but I love the fact that uh, that Bill Belly was there. Dude, yeah. that was great. That was so good. Him and Craft, I loved it. Yeah. He's like, I'm not that bad, guys. I swear. And like, and they're like, so bad. I like, I felt so bad for like, him. Nah. He's trying to be serious, and they laughed at him. I know. <laughs> I felt so bad. I felt so bad for Kim. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I did. Boo. She I felt always bad. deserves it, though. She doesn't care. It's all good. Pl- publicity like, for them they don't not care. getting booed yeah. <laughs> like relentlessly too for kevin to be like stop guys stop <laughs> <laughs> she was probably backstage crying after that so her ugly crying Brady face i love was. it <laughs> yeah they went they went pretty hard on him it's they, pretty nuts i loved like i love how like who they picked to do it like you got adelman you got gronk you had i mean randy moss he kind of sucked he yeah. dropped the ball yeah he did. which he never did in football but uh yeah, no, right. he dropped the ball it's a very weird joke he had about taking a ring from brady yeah the delivery was so bad You're yeah like, just, it, a didn't, like it, it didn't land funny. the plane yeah, yeah. <laughs> um who else uh, i don't even know who that that blonde comedian was. oh uh, nikki glazer, nikki glazer. Yes. Nikki glazer. she yeah. had one of the best acts of the night she's so, so funny. did you she's see... like a roast she's like one of the perpetual roasters oh okay Aaron Hernandez's wife was like bashing her for the joke. She's like, "My daughter's gonna have to hear about this." And, Everybody, well, jokes. she's gonna have to read about what he did. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Your daughter's gonna <laughs> know that your ways. her dad was a whole killer. So yeah. yeah, there's that too. Yeah, I yeah. think that's a little more of the problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> yeah. That was good. There was a lot of Hernandez jokes. That was good. Oh, and then the OJ. At the beginning, so, yeah. The tri- yeah, I don't yeah. want to call Rose, it a tribute, Rose but it was like yeah. definitely yeah, that, a tribute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of fucked up too. I'm like, what? What relevance does this have to Tom Brady? Like, yeah, why not, are we? Not much. It was. Well, it was pretty. Funny, but though. Kim then did kill it when she said that, like, oh, my family has done enough to defend football players. That I was, was like, like yes, oh Kim. my god, there we go, yeah. Kim. See, you hung out with Pete Davidson long enough. <laughs> you better pick up on some comedic timing, something. That whole thing for me was great just because, like, I love dark humor. I love, like, joking about shit you really shouldn't joke about. I hate to say it. I just do. And for me, that was right up my alley because yeah. it was just all of that. Like, look at Edelman. Like, I've seen a lot of people saying Edelman's jokes were, like, the best and he was he was top three of the night. I guess, but for me, it was like, all right, dude, let's move on from the sex jokes. Like, you're doing a whole bit of, like, gay and yeah. sex jokes. Mm-hmm. Like, can we try something yeah. else? Like, it's like what Kevin Hart said. He was like, what's with the white guys and dick jokes? Yeah, that like, had me dying. And then at the end, so he was true. like, oh, more white humor. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that, that black girl, um, the lesbian Sam from Boston, yeah. 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 she did really good. We saw her per- perform at Chris D'Elia, like, back in November. Right. I heard she's yeah. hilarious. She did so well. She, she was did. so funny. Yeah, I thought she was pretty good, too. And I didn't even get to finish it either because we it got was so late sleepy. And I was <laughs> coming home from a yeah. double, so I didn't get to finish. I'll probably do that tonight. I yeah, think no, we have good. like an hour left. Yeah, so I think um, with all this Tom Brady talk, we can we can hit it in on uh, nostalgia now. One thing I've been dying to talk about 
since we filmed the last one. What is it? I can't believe, and I can't believe you guys didn't comment. None of you guys who did tune in or hit me up about the episode or commented on the video and what have you did not mention hit clips. Hit clips. Hit clips. I'm telling you right now, I have the hit clip. Clipped to my LL Bean backpack with my initials on the back. <laughs> and don't forget, it was only one headphone. It was only one headphone. <laughs> right? It was only one headphone. Yeah. When I tell you I had every single little, like, I don't even know, they looked like mini like Nintendo the, cartridges. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I with a mini boom box looking thing. Yeah. Yep. 50 of them Johns hanging from the back with my hit clip. So, so if I wanted to listen to 30 seconds of Backstreet Boys, or I could. Bow wow, it in. Or Britney. In sync. Shit, I don't even like know Aaron Carter. Who else they had? Like, did we have like Boys to Men? Did we have like no, all we had those kind of hit no, Street. But I'm saying like on the hit clips, like I, I feel like Spice Girls would have been a hot Spice one. Girls. Oh, I, def- had, I had yeah, Spice, Spice Girls, Girls yeah. was on there for yeah. sure. But I I had to throw hit, hit clips has been on my mind since I didn't talk about it the first time. You around, know what so. else is on my mind that I brought it up to you and showed you the picture and you're like, oh my gosh, is the video now? It's, Video but, now? Do you remember? It was oh. like a portable like DVD player. Let me pull it up for you guys because once you see the picture, you'll, you'll be know. like, wait, yeah. I remember that. It was such a time. Because I was over here like, nah, I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm like, then yes, you do. She blasted <laughs> me back to the past with this one. Yeah. Let's see. So All right. Good. The video now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You guys got to know oh, about the video now. Oh, my. I definitely didn't have one, but I was definitely jealous of those. I had a SpongeBob that. one, and I thought I was the coolest kid. Mine was, was red. Like, oh. Yeah, no, I never had one. The um, <laughs> the hit clips reminds me of Tamagotchis, though. Yeah, yes. you mentioned that to me, oh dude. Tamagotchi. Those Aren't those making a comeback right they now? Are. I think so. Yeah. Yes. There's yeah. ones that are worth big money because they're like collabs with different like oh, enemies really? or different things. Yeah. I wa- yeah. I've seen a dude on Facebook bought one in, in Japan. I think he paid like, what did he pay? He paid like five fifty for it. Jeez, for a Tamagotchi, crazy. bro. And that, like, Better keep it alive. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> yeah, feed my Tamagotchi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I had I, a couple of those. Those shits were funny. As so, well. Kelly, what do you got for us? Because I need to hear your voice. Honestly, the biggest thing that I can remember... Well, there's two things. So, one, birthday parties at McDonald's. Oh, man. With the you grungy playground. You were playgrounds. the coolest person on the planet if you had a B-Day yes. at McDonald's. Yes. And w- I remember I did one year, right? I got a bicycle. It was so awesome. And the entire class, like, we left school early. Like that's like they the must true have loved you for the day. Oh my like, gosh, no! But that was like the thing. Like everybody used to like really celebrate birthdays when we yeah. were younger, no, and I now agree. it's the not. whole class. Yes. Like I nobody agree. was left out. Exactly. Back when you could bring peanut butter to school, yeah. Right. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. I think we. I did more like Chuck E. Cheese birthdays than I definitely been to my fair share of McDonald's birthdays. I was but. not allowed in Chuck E. Cheese. My no. mom would not. My mom allowed no. it. No. Why? It really? Was just yeah, dirty. What's yeah, it is dirty. As and so. and in the ball pit, we showed up like for like maybe an hour, and there was a dirty diaper in the ball oh, pit. Oh, I thought you were gonna say Usually. needle or something. I was no, gonna say. no. But it, it was not so. She's yeah. like, we're not listening to that. Like they well, play it on a loop. Those things are creepy. They yeah. are. They were so <laughs> yeah. creepy. I think they're real now, right? Or are they still animatronic? I think they. Do I think like they the got rid of them now. Yeah, yeah. Like the they got rid of the animatronics now. The yeah. mascots. Yeah, exactly. Thank goodness. What do you got, Vin? I know you got something in the chamber for us. The well. I, I got to steal a year, one that you said earlier. Riding in the back seat of those cars, like in the trunk facing the back. Yes. <gasps> oh. Oh my God. The yeah, Oldsmobile dude, like, station wagons. Yes. Yeah. Where it had the I whole back I used to pretend row. I was in a music video in the back of those, like yeah. looking out the window. Yeah. Wow. I went yeah. to preschool in one, one of those. We got picked up in one of the Oldsmobile. And, like, it was great. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Fight over the back seat. Damn. Whoa. Yeah, that, that just like that'll never, the back. That'll never happen. Now. I never would have remembered never. that. That's a good one. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Wow. Shit. What else? I had one on the tip of my tongue and now I forgot. I got one. Go ahead. Building 19. Oh. Building 19. The Revere Flea Market, dude? Yes. <laughs> and the, oh, Building 19 had such... It was like what Marshalls aspires to be. You know what I got from Building 19 was because I don't know... that You talk about like in Lynn, right? Next to the Walmart. Is that yeah, they about? have them all over all the right. place. I got... Uh, my first one was a Nextel. 
I think I might have talked about this on the pod already, but my first one was a Nextel, and I like I was I wanted a camera phone because all my friends had camera phones, and I would <laughs> beg my dad, please, like upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. My dad was like, "Fuck you, be happy you have a cell phone." First of all. <laughs> Which I was happy, don't get me wrong, but I remember my mom and her friend. I was with my mom for the weekend. Her friend came and wanted to go to build a nineteen, and I think my dad had sent. I he sent me over to my mom to like 40 bucks and I had 50 already because I didn't spend the money that he gave me from the yeah. week before I was hoarding because I knew at some point I was going to end up at building 19 because my mom lived yeah. in Lynn so I'm like I'm buying myself a new fucking cell phone so I did I bought myself a, a pre-owned Nextel that had the camera and I don't know if you guys remember but the one that had the button on the side so if you clicked yes. it it flipped open yep, yep, yeah yep. I had that bitch nice then what happened to me was the very next day, the same dude that brought us to the building 19, we had this blow up pool in the yard and, to, and he fucking threw me in the pool with all my clothes. And I had the phone in no. my pocket Stop. that I had bought the day before. Phone Jeez. warranties weren't a thing back then either. Yeah, oh, he so just threw it I in a bag out, of rice and prayed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we did. We tried that. It didn't work. I said, I'm telling you, I got out that pool and head butted this man right in his dick. I was like, boom. He was trying to like hug me and calm me down. I said, nah, fam. Bow. Do you guys remember the stickers on the batteries that would like turn a certain color yeah. Yeah. when they got water yeah. damage so they knew it so was No, it was more important embarrassing like if you like were running and your phone fell out and like the battery goes yeah across the floor like help me find my battery yeah. like so embarrassing did you guys chew on your antennas i did yes Stop. i did bad so and bad I'd, like get bad. it like nice and bent yes oh, yeah. <laughs> like why did we do these things honestly <laughs> chew on the antenna of the phone so you know you, what's so a so good chew yeah, right. the best chew is poly pocket clothes yes that was the best chew. oh, oh my <laughs> goodness <laughs> yes yeah, <I> <laughs> The best they were just, just like, like thick enough pink. that yep. like <laughs> she said shoes i'm over here thinking about pink star bears and shit. <laughs> <laughs> no it's poly pocket clothes yep. preferably the purses yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, what else we got um red dodgeballs about... oh. the red dodgeballs yes the red dodgeballs from school i used Stop. to Oh, I just got PTSD. <laughs> oh, my cheeks started to sting. I they used to, we used to be able to vote which balls you wanted to use. Like when the when the phone came out. The, oh, yeah, the, the red boat. I'm talking about both now. But oh, before I like the, the phone red ones. Mm. I didn't like you could the like phone grab ones. them. I like you the could like smush yeah. them and yeah. throw them. Yeah, we uh, people would always get so pissed when the the coach would let us choose which type of ball you'd want to use, and everyone would choose the red ball. And everyone yeah. that wanted the foam ball would be like, oh, do I have Damn. to play? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what? Gym class was so, like, the rainbow, like, yes. yeah. parachute. Shoot, yeah. oh. And those, like, roller... That you rolled your the fingers on? Yes, the oh. little scooter things. Yeah. Oh, those I forgot sucked. about those. Yeah. And, like, the really, like, the, I think they were, like, macaroni beads on the jump rope. Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those yeah. slapping yeah. on the gym they, they floor. They used to do, like, the friggin', like, the sit and reach and the... And the yeah. Oh, the Pres presidential yeah. fitness Pres test. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. the presidential yeah. fitness test. I hated yeah. that. I hated that yeah. so much. I used to walk that mile. I'm like, Me too. Shit. You were talking about those red dodgeballs. It made me think, like, who the fuck thought it was a good idea to let us play that in high school? <laughs> Like we were just head hunting people. Like you would, like the shy girl would just be standing in the yeah. back because she wanted to get credit. You just smoke her yep. in the fucking mouthpiece. Or yep. she'd be like the last one standing and have to like I don't know get about you guys. We impaled. played jailbreak yeah. more. You'd be we screaming, catch the ball. Yeah. Yes, catch it. <laughs> Get me in. Yeah. And the other team's just lining up, ready to nail her. Oh in the head. man, those are I, gym class, man. Gym class that's was nostalgia. Yeah, it's the it's best. best. I don't know about you guys, but I had two gym teachers named Jim Day. Different people. Different people. Oh. One in Lowell, one in Tuxbury. Jim Day. Oh, they were the same name, just different people. Different that's people. That's crazy. Wild. And they were the gym teacher. What are the odds of that? Right. That's, that's wild. Jim Day. Uh, one thing yeah. that I would just spitballing here, like I said, there's no rhyme or reason to this nostalgia. It's just fucking nostalgia. Yeah. So one thing I just thought about that I missed, again, everything I, we say today, guys, we fucking missed the first time. We're trying not to miss anything. If we there's do, so much. we there's might so have to much. run a part three in the future. You never know. But um, fucking Crash Bandicoot. Great game. <gasps> Oh my god. Great they need to make that into like an animated series or some shit. Like that would be pretty That would be fun. Yeah. Or even like do Spyro. That would be cool. Do Spyro yeah. on or the Ray, Rayman was cool too. Rayman was awesome. I forgot about that one. Yeah, do you guys remember floating. what is that? I think it's like Papa the Rapa or something like that. What? It was on PlayStation. Papa the Rapa. And it was like an onion head. I'm going to find it now. Yeah, I don't know where. You know guys one. know exactly what it is because it I used only to be had on a PlayStation. GameCube. 
That's yeah, that's all. lit though. What's your favorite GameCube game? Oh, I played like The Simpsons Hit and Run. That's a great one. Wow, yeah. I forgot about that one too. Yeah. Mine was, I, I said it before, but Luigi's Mansion was my shit. Such a good game. Because that's, Zelda so, all day. that's solidified <laughs> Luigi to stand on his own, too. He didn't need Mario after that. <laughs> last On the last episode, you were talking about the Super Nintendo. Yeah. I put in so much time on that system. That was like mine and my brother's go-to. What was the go-to game? Uh, Top Gear. It was a racing game. I remember Top Gear. Yeah. Absolutely. I loved Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt was, I was a great a game, too. Yeah. I found it. We used to have the one that... No? I uh, know. I'm PlayStation. sorry. PlayStation. No, I don't remember that. What the hell? That does not look like what anything we were playing on PS1. No idea. That was on a PlayStation 1. You know what I used to play <laughs> on PS1? And I, I hope and pray if you guys don't remember this, that somebody who's tuning in right now remembers the original Castlevania game. No. No. No? I'm, I'm a lone soldier here? Damn. That was a PC game, wasn't it? I don't think I ever played it. I don't know if it was on PC too, but it definitely was a PS1 game because my mom lived in Pennsylvania at the time and I would go out there for the summers and she lived in like this huge, mad, nice double wide trailer in this trailer park and like there wasn't many kids there. So when I was bored, I was either like building hematite necklaces with beads and shit or I was making dream catches or I was playing Castlevania on That PS1. just reminded me of Gimp. So wow. Can you start, start it for me? Because yeah. <laughs> no one could ever start it. Yeah. Like, I used to do the Chinese staircase. Yeah, oh, I used to think one. people yeah. were so cool for that. And then you hang it on your LL Bean backpack. Yep. To be fair, I do some dope shit with um, thread. Like, yeah, I made you her, made me a nice bracelet until our lovely fur baby nice. broke it off of me. Yeah, that that's something that <laughs> never left me as a child. Like, I can make the fuck out of some bracelets, bro. Nice. Just saying. Yeah, I only knew how to do the box one. We just. Uh, yeah. Left, right, up, yeah, down, left, right, up, down, whatever yeah. it was. Yeah. Yep. No, I was an, uh, an extended d- day kid, so that's what that's how we filled our time. Keep you oh busy. yeah, yeah, with the crafts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that though. Yeah. I, and they I give love... you apple juice and graham crackers, and yeah. they're like, enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go do your yeah. homework. <laughs> Something super nostalgic for me that I used to do um, was me and my mom would go to you guys know Forty Steps in the hunt. So that like if you drive. There's only one way in and out of Nahant, right? Mm-hmm. So if you're driving into Nahant on that straight road, you go, once you hit the very end where the beaches and yeah. stuff and all those fucking giant Bruce Wayne mansions right yeah. there, yeah. There, it's not even technically 40 steps anymore because I believe there's like a little bit over 40 steps, but there was like 40 steps down, like these old wooden steps that would go to like this very small beach and this beach was filled with sea glass. Oh, really? Like, notoriously filled with sea glass. So one of my glass. favorite things that me and my mom used to do is we would go there and, and collect sea nice. glass and shit and then we'd make like picture frames That's and cool. like whatever like just fill um empty corona bottle with sand yep. and sea glass in it or whatever just as decor so to me that's that hits the nostalgia mark because that's like a really fond childhood Man. memory going on 40 steps and you know it's a good one that i just thought of i think i'm not sure if every public school has done it but i feel like a lot of them have is the field trip to chunkies no nah, i've definitely yes. been on a field trip to chunkies i've for never known sure. yes. yeah. never Never we had went a on a field trip to, to Showcase and Revere. <gasps> R.I.P. Shout out Showcase and Revere. Chunkies was better. Fucking Amazon. They had the race car seats mm-hmm. and they bring you pizza. Yeah. No, we used to do field trips. We used to go to um, Plymouth Museum Rock. of Science yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> all the time. In Plymouth Rock, no, me and me and my <sighs> friend um, from Winthrop, her name's Morgan. We used to. Be, she was one of the first people I met when I moved to Winthrop, amongst a few others. But we were super fucking close when we were younger, and th- they were going to Plymouth Rock. We were like, nah, bro, we ain't going. So our parents let us stay home. I went to her house and we just literally kicked it and watched like all of the screen movies. And nice. I know what you did last summer movies. So you've never seen Plymouth Rock? No, you've I never have. looked I at have. the boulder. No, I have. Oh. I have. And then I was gonna say, then you're not a real Bostonian. A majority Every of Every Bostonian seen oh, the rock. Of course, right? yeah. <laughs> it's like a rite of passage. <laughs> literally. We did like a uh <coughs> overnight thing, I think, when I was in fifth grade. Dude, what? <gasps> yeah, you'd like You slept like, there? Yeah, you had like cabins and shit. That's good. You game. had to like do out, outdoor activities and shit. I had to dissect a goat's eyeball. Ooh, that's oh. fire. Ooh, I dissected dope. a rat in school, but not yeah. no eyeball. Yeah, it was a, an eyeball. I think you could choose from a couple different things. That memory was, or that like bit of time in school was wicked cool. Because that was the first time you'd ever like 
gone away out. from your parents. Yeah, like kind of. Mm. Yeah, with like all your friends from school and stuff. It was pretty cool. I think That's it was only, like, cool. One or two nights. But. I had cooler classes in middle school than I did high Me school. Me too. We were taking dope classes. I had wood shop. I had. Yeah. Granted, yeah. I went to a vocational high school, obviously, but still in middle school we had wood shop. Home ec, sewing. We didn't have ho- uh, home ec, but we had. Um, I went to the Joyce in Woburn, and we had home ec. Like we had like actual cooking classes, we had sewing classes, we had art classes. We like, definitely I felt had like art. Yeah. We had everything. That's so useful. Dude, technical have... schools themselves are like nostalgic. That shit is falling out of style for the most part. What? Which re- technical schools? Yeah. Oh yeah. But well, like, they're I feel like everybody's ours. waiting till after high school to go to technical schools yeah, like, instead of going stuff, right. during high school. It's one of the best things I ever did was go to a vocational high school. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. yeah. No, I think it's things kids should do i think that there's just this kind of like false narrative around it because my dad after i graduated high school was so upset he didn't let me go to the tech and but he was the reason why i didn't go in the first place because he was like it's just for like degenerates yeah Yeah. exactly because he was one of them he went to the tech like you know what i mean yeah yeah (laughs) Yeah. where did you where'd you grow up kelly tooksbury okay for the most part a little bit of lowell at the beginning but definitely you rep tooksbury yeah unfortunately the redmond there you go (laughs) <laughs> what, well i don't know about something. you guys but i remember like walking with my cousins after school to the corner store and they had these specific candies in like the uh the plastic where you would just like reach your hand the penny in. candies basically penny, yeah. yeah but it was a lollipop it was like half red half blue and it was just pure sugar and it was was it the Wait, one that Kelly. looked like a like a ufo shape? Yes. yes yes i know what you're talking about yes those are goat stabbing. those were so far i used to get those at the boys and they were like 25 cents they yes. were like something like that it was yes. great nothing was better and i know we we kind of spoke on this before we started filming and recording what have you but uh the fucking razor scooter is such yeah, an dude. underrated thing oh, like that my ankle the amount all right I'm going to spill the tea here for you guys. I'm going to tell a story that I don't just tell everybody, but I think it's time <laughs> I think it's time I like get a little deep, not deep, but a little spill insight it, baby. on spill onto it. me. A, a little something embarrassing too. I don't give a fuck anymore. Too old to care. Talk um, to us. I was riding my Razor scooter and mind you, I'm at this point I'm probably like 11 or 12. So I'm not no little ass kid. I'm a little kid, but I'm not a little kid. You're so a preteen. Yeah, mm-hmm. right? So I'm a super comic guy, so there was a comic book store in Lynn, and me and my mom's ex's son were like, fuck it, we're gonna go spend our allowance money on some comics. So we're riding the fucking scooters, bro. Mind you, I had bubble guts all day that day. I don't know why I had bubble guts. So I'm pushing, bro, and I go to let out a fart. Oh, no. Bro, I done shat myself so bad. I'm talking like this wasn't a shart. This was like I pooped. Stop. I, yeah, and I and, and I'm on my razor scooter, bro, and I just stop, and I'm like, uh, I'm I'm I I froze up, and and I'm not, I won't name drop. So my boy is like, what's wrong with you, bro? Let's go. Like we're almost there, and I was like, dude, I can't, and I'm just standing there clenching my cheeks like this, and he's like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, dude, I just shit myself. He started dying laughing. He's sure. like, well, what are you going to do? And I'm like, I'm going to go back. And he was like, nah, I'm going. I'm going. And I turned Damn, around by dude. myself. Not you. Yeah, yeah. Down, <laughs> down, <laughs> down Walnut Shitty Street booty. and laying on the scooter. <laughs> Just leaving a trail behind you. Trickling down. No, yeah. it was. Just leaving the yeah. breadcrumbs so he could find so, his way home. Leaving uh, booty flakes behind. Yeah. Ew. So, there, <laughs> so there's a little bit of... Uh, me exposing myself That's slash nostalgia memory hilarious. slash nostalgia razor scooter moment. Um, you didn't want to catch one of those motherfuckers off the ankle though. I'll tell you, you that. You really for free, didn't. So. Like okay. trying to show off doing tricks and clink right off the oh. ankle. Yeah, because you could like whip it around. Oh, yeah. 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 So good. God forbid you brought one to a skate park too. They'd like Ooh. harass you out of there. Yeah. They didn't like uh, they didn't like the yeah. razor scooters yeah. over there. Yeah. Do you guys remember Heelys? Oh yeah, and soaps. If 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 they don't drop Heelys again with a more modern style to it because like they no, look there's like no a, modern style to they, it. Well, they look like, to look like um, Etsy's. Etsy's. Yeah, Etsy's. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. That's yeah, they're yeah, supposed yeah, to yeah, look yeah. like. They were so the heavy, the clunky they were. shoes. There was nothing better than rolling through the mall with those bitches yes. on. Yeah. Yeah. One oh. time I ate shit <laughs> in Market Basket, like ate shit, and my mom was like embarrassing get up <laughs> that's why i told you not to wear those in the store yeah. i gotta say i was super pumped that you remembered pogs because i couldn't remember for the life of me what they were called i man. used to have sleeves full of those tubes i don't full recall of those at all what did they would you so, bought them straight up like that or yeah, yeah that's all they were so okay. you would um 
they were basically just like you, like you were saying, little um, poker chip type things with designs on them. Most of them would be plastic or cardboard, and then hmm. you'd have a metal one. That, that was, was called the... your slammer. Okay. So like I don't I don't remember exactly how to play, but like you'd be, pl- I'd be oh, playing. You played Kel- with them? I thought yeah. they were just collectibles. No, 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 no. <laughs> so like you, I'd have my pogs, and you'd have your pogs, and I forget how or why you'd stack them up, but you try hmm. to make a tower, and then the person you were playing would take their metal slammer and whack it off the pogs i didn't know this and then whatever oh, so like if you had a so it. if you had like a stack of 10 of them and they'd slam it down like seven of them fell off you'd be left with three so you'd keep your three and they'd take your seven. Oh, oh i didn't yeah. even realize this. damn you yeah. could have came up a long time ago yeah. babe yeah wow yeah they were cool dude and like the metal slammer i think they were called slammers were like the coolest ones because they were like heavy and thick yeah and you and felt like, like a g because you had yeah, that in your collection like shiny and shit you know what i mean so it was like they're wicked cool. You know what that kind of reminds me of? Uh, um, I know you, I mean, if you guys are anime fans, then you fuck with this, but you, uh, outside of the trading cards, Yu-Gi-Oh! Remember oh, yeah. that thing mm-hmm. that you used to battle with that you had strapped to your arm? Oh, yeah, yeah, Bro, I used to hit the block with mine on me in school, everybody, because I, I had the three legendary Yu-Gi-Oh! cards, the blue one, the red one, and I, f- I forget I what the green. other one was green yeah. or if it was yellow or what it was, but... I'd pull that from my deck and kids would like, they'd get so mad. They'd just pick up their cards off. They had it in the thing. They're like taking everything apart. And I'd be standing there like, yo, I am Yugi though. <laughs> like I am him. So that was, that was, oh, times, times right there. I was definitely more of a Pokemon card guy, but. Uh, I was a Yu-Gi-Oh kid. Yeah. I have a buddy who makes like 500 a month selling Pokemon cards right Dude, now. Dude, people make a lot of money selling Pokemon cards. It's, it's crazy. It's insane. I wish I could get into it. Like, I love them. Don't get me wrong. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've skimmed through my son's collection a few times to see if we got anything like we got of value. Because, you know, if yeah. he has anything of value, it's going in the goddamn safe. Yeah, dude. Yeah, you the, know? Uh, yeah. Dude, I started buying them again during COVID. Just like something, something to, to do. do. Yeah, yeah, dude. Absolutely. We got a little sidetracked, but I don't mind. I, it's yeah. good fucking content right there. Friendly. That's a good fucking content. Friendly. 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 The Monster Sunday with the yes. Reese's hanging out the side for the mm-hmm. ears. Mm-hmm. Gang. That so blue good. soda. Yep. With that cherry. Give me extra cherries. And too. the straws that changed colors. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yep. So good. The only Friendly's I know that still is in this area, I believe, is in Haverhill. I, I didn't even know I that there was still one Yeah, there might only be like a couple of them left if there is one in Haverhill. Yeah, I think there's one or two left. Yeah. That's so, sad. It oh, really the um, you mentioned something. I think building nineteen. You said for some reason the ground round popped in my head when you said building nineteen. That it, restaurant was dope. That was like an OG ninety nine. You just brought up to me the other day. Yeah. Yes, I don't remember that one. It was like Dave OG and I were trying to figure out where they were. They were all over the place at one point. There was one like in I North said, they, yes, they I were what that. Applebee's aspired to be. They yeah, were yeah. like children friendly they had peanuts on the floor like five guys in their mm-hmm. early days like it was just maybe i don't know for the, it was for the kids and yeah. parents were like this is great yeah my dad loved going there and taking me and my brother yep we'd yeah. go to ames or bradley's first and then we go to ground round yeah it was literally oh, like ames. a 99 <laughs> year for like a younger like families you know yeah. what i mean Damn. Uh, maybe I've been and I just You didn't definitely have. It was like have. a big chain. Yeah. It was a big chain. See, think... we were more like Piccadilly Pub people. Yeah. I don't think we ever went to a ground round. I don't know. Ground round? I think Piccadilly one? Pub bought out the ground round. I was like going to the... say, oh, they really? bought out ground round. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, I feel you guys like I would like age. the ground round. Too. Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> would. We used to hit old. I know we've talked about this already, but the old country buffet is where we were at because it was like 20 bucks a head and you were eating whatever the fuck you wanted. Bugaboo Creek. Bugaboo Creek. Or just the Rainforest Cafe the the in yeah. the Burlington Mall. Rainforest, yep. Rainforest Cafe. That, Cafe oh, that was the best place ever. Yeah. <laughs> it had that like distinct smell. Like, like you walked in, like it was just moldy wet. water. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no bueno. If we're, well, if we're getting you know, if we're rolling on that, then I mean, we got to throw the hilltop in there. Hilltop, yeah. Oh, with the cows. Right. Out I never ate there. Yes. I'm pretty sure kid. my cousin had her like wedding reception in one of the function rooms. Oh, there. really? I think I don't know. I could be wrong because I was young then, but I remember definitely going there like big family dinners, like twenty five, thirty of us would all go. Shit, Jeez. you know it's a, another good nostalgic thing that just popped in my head is Blockbuster. Yes, yes. Oh, every Friday. Yeah, I meant to say oh. that, yeah. Do you guys remember the like oh. the smell? Get your candy, get your popcorn, yeah. get your two movies. You could run video. I used to run video games yep. too to see if yep. I liked them and shit. Mm-hmm. 
For and they sure. had like the adult room in the back with yep. with like the, the black <laughs> light. You know what? You'll, you'll remember this because you you were in Malden here and there as a youth. Um, do you know? So remember where the Papaginos used to be in Malden? Hollywood Videos. Is that what was across from it, right? I used to go there and rent Hollywood. Nintendo 64 yep. games and never bring them back. That's where half my games came from, yeah. from my N64. Yeah. That's oh, why yeah. they're closed now. That's it. I ran yeah. them out of business. <laughs> yeah. You were doing the N64 games and me and my brother were buying the, the same DVDs we had that were scratched and swapping them out. <laughs> yeah, oh, my oh, gosh. Hey. I remember being so pissed when people would swap out DVDs. You're like, this isn't what I got. Oh, no, same like, movie. no, no, same movie. So like if we had a DVD, yeah, so if we had like... Not you pi- pirating. No, no, no. So like, <laughs> let's, for sake of argument, let's say we like had Titanic on DVD, but it was scratched and it wouldn't play. We'd go rent Titanic, swap the DVDs. Oh, a little oh, switcheroo. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. That's what bastard we see, were. See, I yeah. was afraid to not even like rewind my, my tape. Never mind. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, I gonna forgot about that. Me. You got to rewind it before you bring it back. <laughs> never going to let me rent here again. 50 cent charge. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Wow. I have so many books from my public library that I've just never brought back. Yes. Oh, really? The, oh, yeah. yeah. Everyone has so fucking many. Kindles now. Yeah. I did take one book from my library one time Ooh. because I was very embarrassed to check it out. So I, it was what a marijuana was book. Uh-huh. I was doing research for like school or something, but I just felt research. awkward. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I love the book too. I was Coming so to our house now, we have like five different marijuana books on our bookshelf now. Yeah. <laughs> Bought every one of them. I love <laughs> That's it. That's awesome. <laughs> so oh, man. All right. Well, if you got any more nostalgia, uh, thoughts blurred them out now if for, if not forever rest in peace because we're gonna scoot over the threads all right so i'm gonna kick off the threads with something that um is nostalgia based so what is your go-to 90s nostalgia movie 90s go-to 90s nostalgia i'll just say the first one that's coming to my head i terminator is such a oh, good movie classic the, yeah the og great fair, movie fair Fair play, and I just I know that was '90s, so I hope. So I think it was. I think it was. It, yeah, if not, damn, close enough. Yeah, right. Yeah, such a shit. Good movie. I don't know what mine would be. Mine, Speaking like I I would. I was gonna say you already brought it up. The Rugrats orange. The, yeah, yeah. That, it was definitely Rugrats, or like I can't lie. Like I know that the first Batman with Michael Keaton was '89. Mm-hmm. We'll just call it '90s. It had to, it's a tie between that and the Rugrats movie for sure. I don't know. Maybe I guess Brandy as Cinderella. Oh wow, that's, that's a good one. A good that one. is a good one. That was like iconic for me. And to find out that like Whitney Houston executive produced it. Oh really? I didn't know that. Oh yeah, cool. And she ex- executive produced um, Cheetah Girls too. Oh really? I didn't well, know that. I didn't know that until oh. recently. Yeah. yeah. Dope. I mean, are we bad if we don't bring up the Titanic? I mean, Ooh. classic. Oh, it just got overplayed so bad on TV. and like That's a, Talk about a slow burn. Sorry, but I did not enjoy Titanic. I'm like, this is a long movie. It was very long. Yeah. It was Super so long. Tapes. Two VHSs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a fact. I, used to have that. <laughs> I always used to think that there was like a part two, but not realizing no, as just a kid, it just continues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Also, what I forgot to do before we kicked off the threads is... Just want to throw this out there. If you guys are still here, still listening, <laughs> still tuned in, we are the High Level Podcast. Um, you guys can find us on YouTube, the High Level Podcast. We are on Spotify, Apple Pods, iHeartRadio, Pandora, you name it, we're out there. So just wanted to throw that quick little reminder in there. If you're just tuning in now, which fuck you, you shouldn't be. Um, <laughs> You should watch so from the beginning. I'm <laughs> um, just saying. But uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll keep it pushing here. The next one I have for you guys is... This isn't a nostalgia. Now we're moving on to the juicy threads. Oh, boy. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, are you ready? I don't know. This is Kelly's first official podcast appearance and dealing with these crazy-ass, juicy-ass threads. So we're going to see what Kelly has to say about this one. <laughs> The guy I'm seeing oh might have pooped in my shower. Do I confront him? So we got, I've been dating someone for two and a half months. He has a habit of showering after pooping. Previously, when spending the night together, he would run the shower in the morning, poop and shower afterwards. I know this because I can hear the shower running and I hear him flushing sometime after turning the shower on. All good so far. 
Last Friday, he spent the night at my place and wanted to take a shower in the morning. I put on some music to give him some privacy. Again, I can hear the shower and the flushing sometime later. This time, I can hear him flushing after the shower too. Nothing weird so far. Today, when I took a shower, I noticed that my drain is a little clogged. I opened the drain and noticed something that strongly resembles poop. I have a wiper in the shower and noticed that there was a little speckle of poop on that too. I came to... What did you call it earlier? Stop. <laughs> oh, shit. The booty Ooh. flakes. The booty flakes. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't. Oh. I came to the conclusion that there is a strong possibility he might have pooped in my shower. Can Anyone can have an accident. I'm not aware of any bowel issues, but I'm now <laughs> contemplating if I should ask him if he pooped in my shower or not. I kind of want to know so I can deep clean my shower if any accidents occur. Also, this is a weird habit of him. I want to let him know that I'm not okay with it in my shower. <laughs> <laughs> Please help. There's just so many elements to that story. <laughs> I mean, he gave it the old fucking curb stomp, bro. Yeah, dude. He just said, smush it down there. bang, bang. Maybe he just <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, what's just your take on this? Maybe it just slipped out, right? Maybe it doesn't <laughs> just slip out. Hey, Kyle, you just shared your experience about you sharding, okay? Just he obviously didn't have diarrhea. This was a con- this was a uh, he plotted on a this. healthy bowel. Well, then, like, did he like move the grate out of the way and just no? Like, because she it had it to move it because she realized it wasn't draining. So, so was he in there just like? Yeah, butt like cheeks spread asshole. on top of the What I don't get is why drain? you need to use the squeegee. <sighs> to put the flow of the water to, to push it, it in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe it wasn't going. Just and, and then he didn't push. think after the, that to like check and make sure, let me rinse this off so I don't leave Or maybe it's flakes. like dingleberry residue. Oh. Mm. Like he probably took a crap and then went in the shower and was like, oop. And then yeah, try to like. You think he just doesn't? Before. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was saying. He just doesn't wipe. He's just I need to see the, the shower as so of the day. So they've been yeah. together two and a half months. I gotta say, I don't even like. Raina used to come over my house and, and shit. And I would not. Well, I wasn't going with your route, but I would say even I wouldn't. I'd be like, I'd either have to make sure I shit before she comes, <laughs> or I, or like I'm I'm squeezing my butt until she leaves type of thing. So like this guy is pretty bold for that. He's very bold. Very. Like, I'm just going to drop a deuce in this girl's shower that I've only been Shame dating everywhere. for two and a In half her months. shower, yeah. like... Foul. You got We need foul. to find this man yeah. and ask him some questions. Yeah, this yeah. guy must be eradicated. Yeah. <laughs> Immediately. I would say, Is there any follow-up on it? <laughs> yeah, what are, what's the, what are any the people updates? saying? Oh, yeah, we do. We have, the, uh, we have an update. Hey. Update is, we had the conversation. It was just a very unfortunate situation. He clogged my toilet and tried to push it down... Oh. With the toilet brush. The brush was completely covered in poo and he <gasps> panicked and thought about asking for a trash bag to throw it out, but was too embarrassed to decide to, so he rinsed it off in the shower. <gasps> he tried to clean the shower to the best of the ability, but was unaware that the metal part of the drain could open. He did not deny God. anything. It was open and a little embarrassed about the situation. We had a good laugh about my fear of him being in the sh- a shower pooper. I did not break up with him, and we'll see him again this week. Oh, so well, it has a happy ending. Yeah, they laughed it off. Yeah, that's great. Power I'm couple. glad he wasn't popping a squat in, in the tub. Next time, he'll throw it out the window instead. <laughs> yeah. That's right, Kelly. It just reminded me of like, Dumb and Dumber, dude. He's just like sitting in there with a busted toilet trying to figure it not out. Not knowing what, <laughs> with, yeah. what to do. Like, trying to use this yeah. brush. That's hilarious. Just, that was a good guy. one. Ah, oh, jeez. All right, here's another one. How should I tell my new girlfriend she has body odor? Oh. I, 24 male, recently started dating a woman named Jasmine, 21 female. Everything started mostly online, and then when we started hanging out and eventually to other things, she now comes over to our house to hang out and we get to spend some quality time together. As the weather is warming up, she is understandably sweating more, and it's, well... The living room smells like her B.O. for hours, and trust me, I've located the source. She's anxious, though, and I don't want to hurt her or scare her away. How should I tell her she's got, and he capitalized the got, to start wearing deodorant? Mm. 
My man, if you like this girl, just be honest, be as kind as possible, try to be tender, do not hurt her feelings, but I'm sorry, bro, if she smells and it's, un like, everybody's gonna have a moment where they smell, but if it's that unbearable... That it's lingering? Keep it a stack with her, because obviously nobody else is telling yeah, her. Right. I was gonna yeah, say, clearly. like, nobody's been real with her, or as women get older, we do end up getting, like, smellier, and so maybe she just doesn't realize. I was just gonna have say... no hair. We end up, like, being, like nose blind to like our own well most people are no sense mm -hmm. so she's probably also just like not even aware either she needs better friends i think if that other chick could <laughs> yes. talk about the the shower pooper this guy can talk to his girlfriend about it a little bit yeah yeah no i agree but yeah. definitely <laughs> gently and like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I don't know. Because if she's sensitive take, and all take that. Take a quick like, target run. Like, just ask her to take a shower with you. See what she does. Ooh. That too. Ooh. Like, Just don't poop in it. Be cute about it. <laughs> gather some intel. Yeah, I'll wash your armpits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> gather you some wash intel. yours. I'll yeah. wash mine together. Does she together? shave her legs or her armpit hairy? What's the coochie looking yeah. like? Yeah. <laughs> or like, What's I don't know, like, situation? go out and like buy her a perfume and be like, I don't know, this. I thought the scent would smell great on you. Or if yeah. she's hairy, just come home with like... Shave and cream, a razor, and some nair, and say, honey. You're a manscaped. There you go. <laughs> you know, I was thinking of you, you know? I was thinking about you. I was you. thinking of you. I was you. thinking about you. <laughs> thinking of your hairy ass. <laughs> there will be no poop flakes in that shower. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's move on to another one I got here. Let me see. This one's juicy. I had to say this one today. My partner donated sperm without telling me. Advice needed. To make a long story short, my partner and I have been together for four years. The first two years... Is, oof, there's time. Mm. The first two years, our communication wasn't the best, but it has gotten better. So around the end of our two year, going on third year together, they donated sperm to someone that we both know. Someone he said was once his best girlfriend. Not his girlfriend, his best friend yeah, who friend is a girl. girl. Right, right. Um, Whoa. <laughs> but he doesn't... But just doesn't tell me about it he said he needed the money to pay bills etc which is understandable but i'm just finding all of this out currently she has already had the baby in our fourth year of being together i also had to find out from a third party he didn't even tell me himself and i also found out that he took that they well this person obviously can't spell i also found out that he took what they wow it got me stumped here i also Having found out that they, i know right i also found out that he took what looked like a very intimate maternity picture with the person that he donated the sperm to. Seeing that picture was like a slap in the face. So I don't know what to think. How to even navigate this? He claims he didn't lie, but withholding this important information within our relationship seems to be a lie to me. I would have understood had he told me in the beginning what he was planning to do and why, since he needed the money and we were very much together as a couple. That's maternity shoot? Crazy. He's the pappy. Like, willingly the pappy. Yeah. Like, not so, even like, giving sperm like you guys laid together and had a baby you're at a maternity shoot as the dad like well i don't uh, well you're the father he donated <laughs> sperm i don't what did he do did he just that's like, what i did mean. he just like, not in a tupperware container i think that's what she's and getting she turkey to. based it herself or like what are we talking here did you go to a clinic together? did you guys platonically like, have sex like yeah just, there's a transaction just, yeah that's so foul though because it's like bruh if you needed to go during it don't well no he had to have gone to a bank because he did it for money unless she paid him she that's what paid she, might have paid she paid him she but paid either him. way like if you're gonna donate sperm that's completely fine but be open with your partner and if yeah, you're gonna no donate shit. sperm to like a f another female that you know and you're, you have to make sure that's cool with your partner first yeah, in my know. opinion i wonder if the kid is like brought around him or not because he they said that the baby is born already so he a happy i can't I, believe that the longer that went on the less it sounded like someone donating sperm and the yeah, more it sounded like someone just having a side piece clapping yeah. cheeks yeah oh. like well, goddamn. That's not a sperm bank. No. 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 That was consensual sex. It's yeah. Like, yeah. You know? No, but, I would not be okay with that. Yeah, that, I wouldn't either, honestly. And then as at a the female, maternity like, shoot, like, sir, you are doing way too much. I think the line, I mean, the line for me would be drawn when you know the person you're doing this for. Yeah, that's a like, whole different In my problem. mind, it's like the, an anonymous donation for someone who needs help. Good Absolutely, you. Like, you can make a bag for that too. I didn't pay yeah, a couple like of racks, thousands. For yeah. you know. And think about all the times we just bust a nut for no reason. We could be making money off that. Just saying. Yeah, mm -hmm. but Come you on. could have like <laughs> hundreds of kids out there too. It's true. So, um, I was gonna do another one. This one's a little long, so I think maybe we'll just roll into the would you rather's before we wrap up. 
You sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I have a nostalgia based one, but you you dig out the ones you have and All right. We'll do get what into we do. it. For those of you just tuning in, if you are just tuning in, again, if you are, you shouldn't be. But if you are, this is the part where we do the would you rather. So it's basically pick your poison, would you rather. If you've been here before, which I hope you have, you know the vibes. All right, let's see. I thought this one was a pretty good one. Would you rather go into the past and meet your ancestors or go into the future and meet your great, great grandchildren? What, uh, future future same i want to meet my great grandkids i think I w- yeah i'm picking future too like ancestors that like going into the past just seems a little too depressing on my end <laughs> see, i yeah. can kind of see the future being that a little bit because you're automatically presuming too that there are going to be people that you can meet that's what i was gonna say what if you go and there's no one to see yeah like Ooh. what if your line just ended? yeah what if you didn't create a legacy yeah so i would be Fair more play. interested in the mm-hmm. past definitely especially because my ancestors i'd want to like see what they went through pick their brain yeah that's cool yeah no i could see it both ways but i have to go meet my great grandkids yeah, like i gotta see what the fuck's going on out there yeah yeah um all right let's see would you rather find a dead body or be a witness to a deadly assault Witness. Deadly assault. Yeah, I want to see some badass shit. Hundred percent. I'm seeing the dead body. Yeah. You too. Yeah. I've seen a dead body a couple of times, unfortunately. So in the wild or like at a wake. <laughs> in the wild. <laughs> in the wild, Vinny. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> in the wild. <laughs> nice dead ass. Just walking yeah. State Street. Jeez. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen a wild kung fu fight before. Really? Like literally next door to my grandparents' house in Malden. Like we're all sitting out front smoking, drinking. Like this is broad day. It's like a midsummer day at like noontime. And the next door neighbors we were cool with were Asian. Bro, they started getting into like a pissing match and one dude hopped in his little BMW, left, came back in a minivan full of little Chinese dudes. Dude, they opened the trunk, katanas, nunchucks, fucking sand, like everything. They're literally like, like legit looked like a fucking Jackie Chan movie. No word of a lie. We're just sitting there. Yeah. (laughs) Crazy. Sorry. Sidebar. Go ahead, B. Let's see. Where'd it go? Okay. Would you rather know the date of your death or the cause of your death? Oh, we almost did something similar to, the, to like. this before. Cause. Cause of death or date of death? Definitely mm-hmm. the cause. Yeah, I need to know cause because I might be able to prevent that. The date I can't prevent. Mm-hmm. That's inevitable. Oh, this. So that reminds me. I, I'd rather know the cause. Go ahead. And then, uh, then I'll go into what I was going to say. What would you rather do? I think I'm going to go with the date. Damn. I kind of want to know. I want to know when. But what if you found out and then it was like tomorrow? Bet. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be some scary shit. We party and when I die, right? don't like Hookers have my hands cocaine. like this in the casket because I don't sleep like that. Okay. Like, How would you like to be placed? Burn me up. On my stomach. Okay. Matter of fact, <laughs> burn me up. Sprinkle a little bit of me in the blunt you smoke there after, you oh please. Hell yeah. For the homies. Burn one for me. That's my mom's right. upstairs Kylito cream. in our... Uh, in our office space or our music room now, whatever whatever yeah. we want to call it. And it's so funny because uh, when, right after she died, I was like, should I bring her down to family dinner and have her meet the rest of the family? That's so Vinny's funny. like, let's just give it a few months, okay? <laughs> and he's so, like, that's too soon, when, too soon. When me, me, my dad, and uncles all went out to Wyoming. My grandfather played college football out there, and we couldn't fly with the Astros, so my uncle had him shipped out there. But my uncle also... Had him in a Ziploc bag, but in the Ziploc bag, in a Ziploc bag was like a couple of um, carts, a nice. couple of um, bags of weed, whatever, yeah, joints yeah. or whatever. So we get to the hotel, he asks for the box. We get up to the room, he opens it, pulls out my papa's ass, just pulls out the rest of the paraphernalia and goes, thanks for smuggling my drugs, dad. <laughs> That's great, dude. That's hilarious. What are you going to say, though, Ben? Um, hey, I... the, uh, when we were talking last time about would you rather know how you're going to die or how your significant other is going to die? Yes. And we started talking about, like, if you knew, how would you avoid it? Yeah. What if every time you avoided it, you were brought with, like, the new way? 
Oh, so the, <gasps> so it's like Final Destination. Cause, cause I was just gonna say not like, Final you're gonna, Destination, you're gonna get hit Vinny. By a no. Bus, and she's like, "You're not going anywhere." And I was like, "Well, shit. Maybe you'll just find out he's gonna like the house is gonna crash, and that's how he dies instead of get hit by the bus." You know what I mean? Like, what if it's unavoidable? That's yeah, so true. That's a good point. Like so Final eventually... Destination. Yeah. yeah. That's some Final like, Destination. All right, this is the one no, I'm that's sticking sick. with. I guess. Like, I guess this is the way I should go. Out. <laughs> I got a good one. Let's hear. Throw one in. Yeah. Would you rather have the ability to change stoplights at will, or a twenty five percent luck increase? Stoplights. I already think that I have that. I'm like green, green, green. <laughs> Boom. Mm. Honestly, with the luck I have, I'm going for the luck increase. I was gonna say I think I'm going luck increase because I have none. A quarter more lucky. I'm with that. Yeah. yeah Give I, it to me. I already look like a <laughs> leprechaun, so like I might as well go for the luck, right? Yeah, I'd probably say luck. Because that luck could right. allow you then to get to the stoplight and have a turn yeah. for you. Mm, true. They do, say it's, they do say it's better to be lucky than good. You know? <laughs> yeah, so. I agree. Let's see. What do you got? Would you rather go through life unable to forget everything or go through life unable to remember everything? I can't remember shit, so I want to remember right. shit more. It's called childhood trauma. Yeah. <laughs> I carry it with Talk me about every day. Nostalgia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. yeah, I'd rather remember things for sure. Should we do one more? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Would you rather be famous for all the wrong reasons or not famous at all? Not famous not at fam- all. Yeah, definitely not famous. I don't want to smoke with all these internet folk. I think not famous because I mean like I feel like when you're famous for the wrong reasons they just never let you live it down like Very true. look at Kim Kardashian she'll never live down the sex tape ever never Tasha ever not famous no. bitch she yeah. needs to remember her where she came from her roots yep. yeah her Ray roots. J's dick me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny on the on the roast when she was like I wouldn't tell I just released the tape that, that was, was so funny yeah yeah no she, was, she got so that I feel she like she was she was pretty good like I don't know she I thought she was pretty good. Fun. Yeah, yeah, that was good. What about you, Kelly? What's what's your would you rather? Um, what were my options again? You... Let's see. Would you rather be famous for all the wrong reasons oh, yeah, yeah, or yeah. not famous at all? Yeah, no, not famous at all. Definitely. Uh... We don't like slander out here. No, <laughs> and you just have to like think of like if we go back to the question about meeting your like great grandkids or like something like that. You know what I mean? You sure. don't want them to go through that or hold that over. I have one, one more, and then we can stop. Would you rather be liked by everyone you met or have everything you've ever wanted? Give a fuck what people think anyways. I want everything I'm out here trying to get. Yeah, ah, man. That's like such a by hard everyone you met, every person you meet, they're like, "I love that guy." I don't need everybody to like me. Though. It's we not need about haters. necessity. We need the mo- we need the motivation. We need people to hate on us so we can get better. True, and if you get everything yeah. that you want, you could technically get people to like you, and you could have control over who likes you, right? So if you really yeah. want certain people to like you, you could mm. have that happen. True, but do you want people to like you for the shit you have or who you are? Right. Well, in that. Mm who I am definitely but if I am able to get no matter what I want and I want like these specific people to like me I just have to think that yeah. it happens oh uh, fair fair play control fair play. I like that Kelly absolutely yeah kind of goes with your luck in the office yeah, it's a, yeah no I get it <laughs> fucking right all right well <clears throat> this is where we wrap it up want to thank Everybody for tuning in to the High Level Podcast, guys. I'm, I'm going to sound like a broken record here every week, and I really don't care to just deal with it. I th- love and thank you all for the support, me and Rena both. Um, it's meant so much. This has been so much fun to do. I've, I love um, just hopping in the studio and just having a good time, and I really appreciate, Vinny, you coming back again yeah. and also yeah. you know, for, for being me. a part of it and Kelly for coming on for Heck the first yeah. time and, and being here. It, it means a lot to us. Um, for those of you watching the pod, if you are a watcher of the pod and you are not a listener of the pod, find us on YouTube at the High Level Podcast. If you are a listener and not a watcher, you can find us on all platforms, uh, Apple Pod, Spotify, iHeart, Pandora, you name it, we're on it. This has been the official sixth episode of the High Level Podcast. And the last thing I feel like I would like to throw in is if you guys are interested in Adlast, you can find the link in the 
in the description of the video. So if anybody needs any help getting themselves out there, business or anything like that, you can just jump into the description of the video and you will find the link there. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for tuning in and we will see you guys next week.